Not so long ago, live streaming used to be a really niche hobby and it was really expensive to get into it. But with today's technology, anybody can start live streaming. So today we're gonna to talk about live streaming setups for all kinds of budgets. Now, if you have no money to start, never fear. You can start live streaming. Go to expert.com, sign up for an account, download Expert Broadcaster. You can use screen capture. You can capture games, start streaming today. But if you have a potato PC that can't even handle live streaming, you still have a gaming console. All the modern gaming consoles have an app that you can stream with. You also have a cell phone. Most of the platforms have an app that you can stream directly to. Actually, it's really important to not spend money with streaming first. You need to try it and do it. See if you like it, see if you enjoy it. It takes a different investment of time and a skill set than other types of content creation. So don't dump any money, just do it however you can and see if you like it. And then you can start spending some cash. All right, so if you have a small budget and a PC, I would recommend upgrading your PC if it needs it. So it's really important to get an NVIDIA GPU. And I only say this because the NVIDIA encoder is so essential for doing low cost, high quality streaming. So if you can enter the GPU lottery or buy something used and get at least a 3060 or above GPU, that would be a great place to start with. Now, if you don't have a PC and you're gonna be doing game streaming, I really recommend saving up your money, pulling it together to buy that PC. There's some low cost laptops, but likely you'll outgrow them a lot faster. So you really wanna start with a decent base PC that'll last you for a few years. But if you already have a good PC, I think the next step is to upgrade your audio. So definitely get a really good microphone such as a Shure SM7B or Electro Voice RE20. Buy the accessories you need like a FET head or a cloud lifter. Or if you already have these mics, you know, buy a good audio interface. If you already have a good microphone, maybe that's the time where you want to pick up some lighting. But basically, start with good audio. That'll be the next massive upgrade in your streaming setup, and it'll carry through your streaming career pretty much for the rest of it. All right, now you're ready to take this seriously. So maybe you've started to make money from streaming, you become a partner, you have some subscribers, and you want to take the next step to improve your quality. Now, this will probably be the time where you can really buy a high-end PC. Now, again, the most important thing is to get a really high-end graphics card so you can run your games in high quality and also stream them in high quality. But if you move past that, this is the time to really start developing the accessories. So if you already have the microphone, this is where you want to start investing in your lighting. So a good set of lighting will vastly improve a camera. A good camera still does bad with bad lighting. So get something like the Aperture 100D and this will basically give you all the lighting that you need for your face. If you already have a good key light like that, you can get accessory lights to like light up your background. And if you have a good microphone at this time, perhaps it's time to upgrade some things like the audio interface so you can get the most out of your microphone. So something like the Audient Evo 4 is a good thing to pick up. And at the very end, if you already have these things and you have a few thousand dollars, this is when you're gonna get your camera. So you'll start with maybe a mirrorless camera like a Canon R6 or Canon RP or maybe a Sony a7 IV with a decent lens. I recommend maybe picking up a zoom lens like a 24 to 70. This will cover you pretty well, pretty much in all use cases. If you're not quite there or you've bought some other things and you just have a smaller budget left, get something like a Sony ZV-10. These are basically built for streaming and they're really easy to hook up. But I just want to stress in order of importance, you know, the gaming and coding PC, then the audio system, then the lighting, then the camera. So I know everyone wants the cool depth of field blur effect, but you can actually do this with software like Xbox VCam. It's important to get the lighting, which will help the camera, get the audio, which will help everyone enjoy the stream more. So remember that order of importance. All right, so the last tier, this is the tier where you have infinite money or you hit some kind of jackpot. We actually did a video on if you had infinite budget, what kind of streaming setup would we build? Check it out. But if you don't have quite that much money, but still a big chunk, what you're probably gonna build here is a two PC streaming setup. This is so you can get the maximum gameplay quality and the maximum streaming quality without any compromise. So you're gonna build a gaming PC. This is likely gonna be the latest Intel i9 or AMD, you know, Ryzen 9 CPU. And then you're gonna want the best GPU you can find. If you can get the 3090, 3090 Ti, 
whatever you can put in that bad boy, get a huge hard drive for all your games. 16 gigs of RAM is good enough. You can go up to 32 if you want. And that PC is good to go. Then you're gonna get the streaming PC. So the streaming PC, you don't really need a good GPU, like a 3060 or 3050, whatever bare minimum is fine. You're actually gonna want a CPU with a lot of cores, as many cores as possible. So this is like the Intel Core X series or the AMD Threadripper. Now, I know I've been praising NVIC most of this time, but with certain technologies coming soon, like AV1, a lot of this initial encoding is gonna be very processor-based until GPU developers start developing encoders for this. So it's likely gonna be CPU-based at first. So this is likely still maybe a few years away, but the CPUs will teach you software encoding with X264 and you get really good quality. But when those AV1 encoders, this might give you a chance to jump on on those and uh, try that out, especially since you have these monster rigs that are gonna have like an 8K capture card, like a Blackmagic 8K capture card or a 4K Mage Wall capture card. You're gonna be able to take in 4K 60 FPS or 1450 120 FPS. These high frame rates, once you can take them in, then you're also gonna to wanna to be able to encode them. So that's what's, these new encoders are gonna open up and this is what this setup's gonna be able to do. And again, now you can get fancier cameras, nicer lenses, nicer lighting, more lighting, maybe backlighting. And the final luxury for any gaming streaming setup is going to be the headphones. So the headphones, you can finally pick up what is known as the ultimate gaming slash streaming headphones, which is the Sennheiser HD 800S. The imaging and soundstage on this basically helps you with FPS games. They're extremely comfortable, so you can wear them throughout the whole time you're streaming. Some other hi-fi headphones get really clunky to wear. And to use these, you're also gonna need an amplifier. So something like a, you know, at least a topping A90 or around that level of amplifier. This will help you drive those headphones, be able to hear clearly, pick all your shots and enjoy your stream. So that's what I would get if I had tons of money for a streaming setup. All right, so one thing I really want to remind people of is I know it's really enticing to buy the latest or future-proof technology to have the best quality possible, but it doesn't matter if you have an 8K 120 FPS stream. If it's like watching an 8K stream and watching paint dry, you really need to spend time working on yourself as an entertainer and getting an audience and finding out what your audience likes and what you like to do, and if you enjoy streaming overall focus time and effort on that and then buy the cool gimmicks after that but i want to know from you guys what has been the best investment in your streaming career and your streaming setup let me know in the comments thanks again for watching give a like subscribe if this video was helpful and see you on the next one